you with uh, Blue Moon's Winter Abbey Ale. A little background on this. I had this. It was one of the first good beers that I tried whenever I was just turned 21. And needless to say, the entire winter that I turned 21, this is all I drank. I was in love with this stuff for a while. So it's basically, it's just a copper ale crafted with roasted malts, Belgian sugar, touch of wheat for a rich caramel flavor and a smooth toffee finish. I haven't had this beer in a year, so I remember it being good. So, well, I can well, like try it. It's been about two years for you. Oh, no, you had it last year. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, I had it last year, and I don't like. I was a little disappointed with it last year because it wasn't didn't live up to my old expectations. But then again, I had had a lot of different beers, so um, let's just go ahead and pop these and let's see how, how we do with them. Smoke suspected for a year-round beer. Should be fresh. There we go. I got some good smoke. You mean a seasonal beer? So I got some good smoke. His has small bubbles. I don't know if you can see it, but mine has some really big bubbles in it. And I guess it might have been because I poured more aggressive. You smell the toffee? Yeah, I'm smelling the toffee. Yeah, I'm smelling the sweetness and the caramel. I'm not getting too, too much of a pungent aroma. Like, you kind of really have to dig in there to get a smell. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and dig in there. No charge. First impressions? I do too, it's good. It's good. I don't know what to say. Oh, I can taste the sugar in it. Yeah, you can taste the sugar. I don't know what to say too much about it either. I mean, it's it's alright. It's, it's a good beer, you know, it's better than anything American usually. Just nothing that stands yeah, out. Yeah, it just doesn't jump at you. I was expecting, like, you know, a little bit more toffee flavor, a little more sweetness, the way it explained it. And, yeah, it's just not there. It just really isn't. I mean, there's sweetness, don't get me wrong, but it's just not what you would expect. Once again... It's a, it's a good beer. It's a thumbs up beer. Not two thumbs. No, nah, definitely not two thumbs. Um, I try it. It's maybe a sixer if it's your th if you like it, then drink it, you know. But I mean, I, yeah, I definitely we drink a six pack of this. If, if we had no other option, I'd prefer this. But I just I don't know. It's not something that I would enjoy, you know, a case of. It's all right though. It's a good, it's a good beer. Don't get me wrong. It's a seasonal collection, and it's actually worth a try if you like Blue Moon. It's a little bit weird compared to that, you know. It's not like Shock Top, you know how their varieties all the, pretty much the same, you know. Well, not the same, but you know what I mean. Uh, this is. I don't know if if you're just moving into the darker variety of beers, try this. You might like it. If you do, drink it. If not, don't. So, uh, something I can see warming up to in the wintertime. Yeah, it would be something nice to have in the wintertime. A nice, darker beer. Although, I would rather go with something more on the stout line on a nice, really cold winter day. But, uh, without further ado, I'm Tommy. I'm Hunter. And this has been another four or five beer review.